Hello everybody, welcome you all. This is Dr. Nagpal and I come from the field of cognitive psychology. I'm really happy that today I'm directly speaking to the teachers or the people who are responsible for making the contents go with the students. You would agree that in 21st century, the world is changing so fast and I should say rapidly. In seconds, the humanity is making lots of changes. And for us, it's a very tough academy for us. एक बहुत ही कंप्रेस सिचुएशन होगी दैट हाउ शुड वी हैंडल दोस ब्रेन्स इन दिस ट्वेंटी फर्स्ट सेंचुरी वट मैटर्स मोस्ट इज परसपेक्टिव इट इज नॉट द नॉलेज आई होप यूड ऑल मस्ट बी नोइंग इट मैं कॉग्निटिव फील्ड चाहता हूँ कॉग्निटिव फील्ड बेसिकली इज अबाउट ब्रेन एंड इट्स हाउ द ब्रेन इनफर्स इंफॉर्मेशन हाउ प्रोसेस एंड हाउ दैन इट कम्स इन टू एक्शन सो इंफॉर्मेशन को लेकर और बिहेव करने तक का जो सारा जर्नी होता है ब्रेन का That is cognitive psychology. You agree with me? किसी भी behavior के लिए सबसे important चीज है brain. Second, information जो student को मिल रही है. And third, the environment where he or she is performed. Now, what exactly happens in the brain? You must have definitely got certain examples, or you come from this field. Brain has various organs, and those various organs are responsible. For all the information that comes to the brain, if I name, there is amygdala, which is fear, fight and flight and anxiety, and depressions. If I say hippocampus, your memory formations are done by hippocampus. If I say your emotions, your hypothalamus performs the emotions. If I say you need to process the information, kya sahi, kya galla, it is done by your prefrontal cortex. If I say your mobility. and the movements that is done by your cerebellum so every function of our life is either controlled or coordinated by brain ab aap classroom mein dekhiye when there are more than 30 students or 40 students you don't agree that most important thing required by a teacher is focus and attention now what is happening at the brain level of students will make lots of lots of changes or lots of difference if i say the hormone oxytocin is there then of course the comfortability will be there if i say the hormone glucocorticoid is there then of course the students is under stress and you not understand it they not be focused so what a teacher needs to understand how to get the students focused and in other terms how the brains will be focused so if you take this entire chemistry of the brain there has to be a position of stasis which means जो हार्मोन जितना चाहिए उतना हो सेरोटोनिन है ग्लूकोकोर्टिकॉइड्स है ऑक्सीटोसिन है इनका उतना ही होना जितना जरूरी है एंड यू विल बिलीव इट जैसी इंफॉर्मेशन हमारे ब्रेन के पास में जाती है हमारा ब्रेन उस पर वर्क करना शुरू कर देता है एंड इट स्टार्ट्स सिक्रेटिंग हार्मोन्स इदर ऑफ कंफर्ट और एंजाइटी व्हाट एग्जैक्टली इज हैपनिंग विद द स्टूडेंट्स दे आर हैविंग द जाइगेंटिक एंड द मोमेंटस इंफॉर्मेशन कमिंग टू देयर ब्रेन now obviously sensual gratifications will be there there will be sensory memory will be enhanced and they will remain distracted but can we give an injection to the students where we bring their brain to the stasis medically yes but functionally it is not the right way that is why on the basis of neuroscience on the basis of neurogenesis on the basis of psychology on the basis of philosophy we design this program which is known as brain sim what we do in this program we try to bring the brain in a situation of comfortability by working on it there are various technologies there are various methods scientific evidence based research where the student's brain is subjected to certain exercises and certain audio stimulants then the brain's organs are recalibrated and at the end what you get you get the best player with best skills I mean, you get the best student with best focus. So this entire program is designed to help all the teachers or all the academic institutions, where by means of scientific intervention, the student's brain is activated, focused, and the perspective building is done. Not only that, there will be lots of another academic integrated programs there. Ultimately, to make those students happy, to make our society prosperous, and to make Education centers at happy places. Okay, a situation to understand. What is the difference between a good student and a non-good student? I hope 
the behavior is the only parameter to judge a student whether it is good or not good. What are those parameters of being good? Habits, self-studies, discipline, obedience, empathy, sympathy, consistency, perspective. These are the characters of a good brain or the good student. I do not have to explain here what is not good student. Now, are these all perspectives derivatives of the brain? I mean, kya hamare brain ke andar aisa hota hai ki ye sare ke sare behaviors student mein develop hote hain? Then the science answer is yes. And from the research of 20 years, I 100% endorse it. In these all the informations or these all perspectives, hamara brain kaise na kaise react karta hai at the chemical level at the anatomical level and if you control those chemicals i mean those hormones those secretions or those informations then what ultimately you do you calibrate that brain you synchronize that brain you put that brain into a situation where it does not put any attritions there is no time distractions there is no visual distractions there is nothing which is not useful for their life you agree that if intermittent studies of six hours is equivalent to the focused study of one hour. Now bringing that brain into that focused state is very, very important. And by this brain zoom, we will calibrate those brains. In a scientific method, ultimately, that the student focuses himself about his own perspective and his own objectives, which is time discipline, which is concentration, which is perspective building, which is remain focused for the long period of time and which is to build his own life his own thank you